Good afternoon, Ryan, once again coming to you from my living room. Um, I am, by God's grace, pastor at Jacksdale South Sea Community Church. And over the last few weeks, we have been going through a book called The Lord's Prayer by Thomas Watson. And today we're continuing that under the heading, Let us behave ourselves as the children of such a father. And today we go and move on to number five under that section. If God be our father. That is the language that Thomas Watson is, in my view, repeatedly using. And as I have said, and I will continue to say, this is a time, just for a moment, to ask ourselves, are we a child of God? Do we belong to him? Have we been saved? Have we been translated from darkness into light? Have we received a new heart? Do we desire to please him? Do we long to worship him? Do we long to be in his presence? Have we got like that which Paul says, to live is Christ and to die is gain. All these things that we must ask ourselves will give us the answer. Is God our Father? And Thomas Watson goes on, if we are his Father, let us walk obediently as obedient children. 1 Peter 1, 14. When God bids you be humble and self-denying, deny yourselves. Part with your bosom sin. Be sober in your attire, savoury in your speech, grave in your deportment or your conduct and your behaviour. Obey your father's voice. Open to him as the flower to the sun. What lovely language we read. If you expect your father's blessing, obey him in whatever he commands, both in first and second table duties. When a musician would make sweet music, he touches upon every string of the lute. The Ten Commandments are like a ten-stringed instrument, and we must touch every string. Obey every commandment, or we cannot make sweet melody in religion. Obey your Heavenly Father, though he commands things contrary to flesh and blood. There are often times when, as Paul writes, in the seventh chapter of Romans, we find our flesh wanting other things. We, we find ourselves desirous of other things at times, even if we are a child of God. But I want to say to you today, we're being encouraged to be obedient, mortify, kill that desire, and ever seek to please our Heavenly Father. When he commands to mortify sin, that means to kill sin, to deaden it, the sin which has been most dear, let us pause for a moment and let us remember many sin to our flesh is enjoyable. Many sins are that which we desire and many sins can often be very dear. As obedient children, Thomas Watson today is saying, kill it, put it aside and be obedient to your father. Pluck out a right eye that ye may see better to go to heaven. When he commands you to suffer, sin, suffer to sin, for sin, Acts 21, 13. Every good Christian has a spirit of martyrdom in him, challenging words, and is ready to suffer for truth rather than the truth should suffer. I want to say to you today as I read that, that gives me great challenge. Would, be, would we be found rather seeing truth honoured than we suffer? Or would what, rather we compromise the truth and we find what it would be seeming to as a greater enjoyment. But today we are called to suffer for the sake of righteousness. Luther said he had rather be a martyr than a monarch. Peter was crucified with his head downwards. Ignatius called his chains his spiritual pearls and wore his fetters as a bracelet of diamonds. We act as God's children when we obey his voice and count not our lives dear, so that we may show our love to him. They loved not their lives unto death. Revelation 12, 11. For me, that is a challenging section, that we are called to be obedient. To obey is, is better than sacrifice. And at times that will involve the mortification of sin. At times that will be turning away from the pleasures that so find us in our enjoyments. But as Thomas Watson reminds us, 
if we be his children, if he be our father, in the end, it will be our joy to please him. It will be our pleasure to be obedient to him. And may we be a people today in this strange time that we live, an obedient people, children to our precious father. May God help us to that end. May God of heaven keep you and bless you. In the name of Jesus. Amen.